the fact that they are resolving the issues that some of the insolvent uh, property developers by pushing them uh, to actually deliver on the homes that people had uh, contracted for them to make, to create. So uh, what China is actually doing uh, is exactly what the uh, Central Committee on the Economy uh, said they would do. They are going to prioritize stability. And <clears throat> that means that the regulatory push, which we started by talking about uh, in this program, the kind of ideological uh, common prosperity themes will not go on the back burner, <clears throat> but there will be substantially more measures of a cyclical nature, uh, such as cutting the lending rates by banks, uh, injecting more money into banks to lend to small and medium-sized enterprises, ensuring that uh, uh, developers that are in trouble actually deliver on their contracts to the people because homes are for living and not speculation. Those sort of measures I expect we'll see a lot more of uh, because the economic figures are bad and that's bad for the party. And that's the bottom line of what they're doing. Got it, David. So in other words, you're, you're expecting further easing ahead uh, by Chinese <clears throat> policymakers, which should take the wind out of the sails of uh, the Chinese currency. That's going to resolve itself. They're not going to have to, have to worry about a, uh, a two-firm uh, renminbi anymore. Uh, well, they clearly signaled that they thought the renminbi was, was, uh, was uh, too strong. Uh, they clearly signaled um, uh, in the course of the weeks before Christmas that they didn't want further strengthening in the renminbi. My own feeling is that once they get over the hiccup of how much they're going to be importing uh, from America uh, at, uh, under the phase one of the trade deal, which they, as you know, have to import still a, a huge amount of agricultural and other products, it is always cheaper to do that if, you're, if your currency, the renminbi, is strong, uh, at least as strong, if not stronger than the U.S. dollar. But once you get over that, I think the, the, the weakness in the Chinese economy, the need to focus more on domestic demand uh, while keeping uh, exports uh, going in some way, speak to me for a longer term weakening in the RMB from current levels. But I think they will hold it where it is for the moment.